Now here we've got a model of the ligaments of the foot. We're looking at a right foot from a lateral point of view. And what we can see here, we just tilt slightly so we're looking at a slightly more dorsal point of view as well. Here we've got a ligament that comes from the dorsal calcaneus up to the neck of the talus. So that ligament there is the cervical ligament. It's named, cervical of course means neck, so it's attaching to the neck. So that's the cervical ligament. And just anterior to that, we've got two lots of fibres here. And they're the bifurcate, or sometimes called bifurcated ligament. And there again, they're coming from the calcaneus, but this time they're going more anteriorly. So these fibres here are going to the navicular. So they're the calcaneo-navicular fibres. These ones here are going to the cuboid. So they're the calcaneo-cuboid fibres. So if I pin either one, you should tell me which fibres they are. If I pin them both, it's bifurcate ligament. Now, it's not the next on the list, sorry, but it's right next to these ones. This ligament here is the dorsal calcaneocuboid ligament. So that's later on on your list, sorry. But that's the dorsal calcaneocuboid coming from the calcaneus anteriorly to the cuboid. And look, these other ligaments here are fairly sensibly named. We're just turning the specimen now so it's a more um, superior point of view. But these ligaments here, for example, would be dorsal uh, cuneonavicular. So they're attaching to the cuneiforms and the navicular. So they would be dorsal cuneonavicular. These ones here would be dorsal tarsometatarsal, and these ones would be dorsal intermetatarsal ligaments. Now if we have a look uh, at the plantar surface, so now we're looking at the inferior aspect, we can see here there's a little bit of the plantar aponeurosis there, but it's been cut. So that's the plantar aponeurosis. Then we've got the long plantar ligament here, and then the short plantar ligament or plantar calcaneocuboid ligament and then just medial to that we have the spring ligament or plantar calcaneonavicular ligament. And what's really cool about that ligament, if I just show you on another model, just get a, another plastic model of the, the same foot, so we're looking here again, plantar surface, right foot. If you look where the spring ligament would be on this model, it would be right here. So that's where the spring ligament would be, coming from the sustentaculum tali over to the navicular. And what's it holding up? The head of the talus. So that's the head of the talus right there. And the spring ligament is sitting directly under the head of the talus on its plantar aspect. And it really does hold the head of the talus up. So it's really important for the arches of the foot. Now also on this point of view, we can see a few other structures. What's this one? Fibularis longus, that's the tendon of fibularis longus, excellent, and then this one here. This one here. That would be tibialis posterior, and notice that some of its fibres travel up here too, so that it's, it's all of that. And then on this, if we come further around the medial side, this one here is tibialis anterior. So we've got a few tendons there as well as the ligaments. But just beyond the tendon of fibularis longus here, we can see some tarsometatarsal ligaments. So these would be plantar tarsometatarsal. And then these ones here would be plantar intermetatarsal ligaments in between the bases of the metatarsals. Uh, and I don't think it's on your list, but it's a shame. These structures here are the plantar plates. Okay, and they're, so they're pads of fibro cartilage that protect the long flexor tendons, but also these joints that are here, the, um, the metatarsophalangeal joints. And they're also present on the interphalangeal joints as well. They're just not quite as big. 